Hey everybody, welcome to uh, this week's edition of Facebook Live. This is Jason Whiteley. Okay, it's not really Jason. He's on the road again today. So you get Leanne and Amy. We will try not to uh, giggle during this. So today we are going to talk about accessories and the best ones to use on your car when you're detailing. There's a lot of different accessories out there. There's quite a bit that Sonex offers. So we're going to talk a little bit about them today and not necessarily Sonex brand, but just the type of tools that you should use when you're cleaning your car. So let's talk a little bit about microfibers. So there's a lot of microfibers out there. I have made the mistake before of buying very cheap microfibers when I'm at Walmart in a pinch. They are terrible. They will leave more lint and dust on your car than when you first start. So you really need to invest in some good quality microfibers. One of the unique things that our brand offers, and there are others out there too, is we have color-coded microfibers. So this is our three pack. It comes in a red, white, and blue trim. And the reason for that is you can designate a different color for different products. So for instance, uh, I use red for all interior uh, applications. You can use white for exterior, and then I use the blue ones for my wheels and rims. And that kind of aligns with the color coding system of the Sonex brand. But that way I never cross contaminate a towel because I always know red's interior, white's exterior, blue is for my tires and rims. So that's just a little tip for you. Another thing you want to make sure of is that your microfibers when you buy it doesn't have any rough edges or tags attached because that will just go back and scratch everything that you've just polished out. So you want to make sure that it's a smooth edge, ours is wrapped in silk, um, and no tags are attached. Now you hear Mike Phillips talk about this a lot. Uh, you want to do a, a, a microfiber inspection. And the way that you do that is you take your microfiber and you lay it out on, on the hood of your car. This one's a little dirty, so I apologize. And you run your hands across it like this. And you want to make sure that there's nothing caught in the microfiber that you can't see. So you can really feel everything. And once you check the one side, you want to flip it over Oh, this side's really dirty and check the other side like this so you just want to make sure that there's nothing in here that's going to scratch your paint so that's a little Mike Phillips tip there I use that tip all the time um, you also want to make sure when you're done with your microfibers and you're washing them don't throw them in with your regular laundry it will ruin your microfibers and if you're investing in a more expensive microfiber you're just throwing your money away there is a specialized wash, and I never knew this till I started working at Sonax, for microfibers. And it's specially formulated to wash microfibers. It has special cleaners in there to remove the oily residues, either from uh, cars or from the waxes. And it also has a special conditioner that will restore the nap of the microfiber, and that's really important. Regular bleach or regular laundry detergent will break down this microfiber and it'll be useless. And the worst thing you can do is use fabric softener on them. It will not restore the softness of the towel. In fact, it's actually deterrent because it puts chemicals in there that makes the microfiber, um, I don't know the technical term, but it loses its grabbiness or its uh, static ability to, to collect dust on your car. So you want to make sure that you use a good cleaner on your microfibers. There's also different types of microfibers. I mean when you're using it on the outside of your car, inside of your car, it's a pretty nice soft nap. As opposed to when you're using it on glass, you want to make sure it has a really tight nap on it. This is our glass um, cleaner microfiber. Nice tight nap on it. Um, another thing the Auto Geek sells that we don't carry here, and we've talked about this before on Facebook Live, are these really nice microfiber gloves. So it's a, an entire glove made from microfiber. And this is super helpful when you're getting into lots of nooks and crannies or if you're applying like our um, chrome and aluminum paste onto a car or to the spoked wheels. It makes it really simple to get in there in all the nooks and crannies. So that's a really cool product that AutoGeek carries. Moving on to uh, one of our pads. You've seen us use this bunch before on uh, both our Competition Ready show and here on Facebook Live. This is one of our interior application pads. It's covered in microfiber. 
has this nice little pouch you can slide your hand into. We use this on dash, on leather, on uh, just about anything that you want to be able to have a little bit more control than a loose microfiber like this. This is a really great product. I use a ton of these at home. So moving on to other products, uh, we also offer, we're going to talk about sponges. Uh, we have a couple different sponges here at Sonax. When you're washing your car, we of course recommend, this one is a nice microfiber sponge. It has a flat side and then a very uh, jiggly wooly side on it. And this will help clean the car and this will help wipe it off. Uh, it's nice and soft so you're not going to scratch anything and very much like the microfibers you want to do a small test on it to make sure that there's nothing rough in there that's going to scratch your paint. Nothing left over from the last time you used it. Uh, again you can throw this right into the laundry with your other microfibers with the special microfiber wash and it will absorb it. See. A new sponge we started offering is a celluloid sponge on one side and it has the scrubbier part on this side. So this is good to get the insects off of your car or inside the wheel wells where it gets really dirty. Um, and it has the nice softer side for the paint surfaces. So that's a nice sponge too. So speaking more about sponges, uh, excuse me, Jason. <clears throat> we have a couple different ones that we offer here. Again, specialized services. So this one is for insect remover on your car. It has a nice um, mesh on it, for lack of a better uh, word, and a good sponge on the inside, and this will keep from scratching the paintwork while it's also taking off all of the bug residue off of your um, grill or your front hood or whatever. So it will not scratch the paint. It's very soft, but this mesh weave on here really helps get a lot of the dirt off. Um, if you're doing any kind of application, either with polymer net shield or with tire gloss gel or any type of wax like that, we recommend an application sponge. It has a harder side here that you hold on to, and then a tight um, celluloid sponge on this side. One of the things we do on our sponges, here's just a little tip, is we write on here what we've used it for. Because even after it's cleaned, you want to make sure you don't cross-contaminate, you know, kind of like our microfibers. So if you have a sponge like this and you're using it just for tire gloss gel, we usually write like TGG on here or tire dressing or whatever product that you're using. Or if we use it for a wax, um, we're all so familiar with our products, you'll see us a lot of time at the show, pick it up and smell it because we know what each product smells like. But when you're at home and it might be, you know, a month or so in between when you've used the, the uh, sponge last, just go ahead and write on here with a ballpoint pen what you used it for last and that'll help you keep your products straight. One of our other sponges that we don't talk about very much, this is called a windscreen or your windshield sponge. So a lot of times this time of year you'll get the condensation on your windshield on the inside and you might be tempted to take a McDonald's napkin or whatever's in your car and wipe that off on the inside and that's bad for so many reasons. All of those napkins have a glue in them, paper towels have a glue in them. You want to make sure you keep that residue off the inside of your car. So this sponge has two sides. This side is kind of like a leather chamois. So when you have that foggy moisture buildup on there, you want to take this side and wipe it off. Then this side has uh, something impregnated into the soft microfiber that will keep it from refogging up, and it really does work. So you wipe off the moisture with this side, and you kind of protect it for the next time on this side. So that's one of a windscreen sponge. Uh, we talked about this a couple weeks ago, my favorite application sponge, this is the Pea Ball. It's very ergonomic for your hand, it's very squishy, has a nice tight uh, celluloid sponge on this side if you're applying wax or any type of sealant. You could probably do tire dressing with this as well. And these sponges, see if I can get this one off, they're interchangeable, replaceable. If this one gets dirty or you want different ones for different products, just take it off, put a new one on, and then you're good to go. Moving on with the last sponge, this is our uh, wheel rim sponge. This again has that tight mesh celluloid on the outside, sponge on the inside, and the reason it's like that is to keep you from scratching your wheels. So after you apply a wheel cleaner, um, you want to be able, sometimes all the brake dust comes off, that's when you're lucky, sometimes it doesn't, you've still got to get in there with a little bit of something. So this is a nice uh, way to get in there without scratching your wheels or damaging them. 
Sometimes I'll take, uh, and you've seen us do this trick before, half of a paper, uh, paper plate and put on this side so that it doesn't bring any of that back splatter back onto you. But this is a really nice small uh, sponge you can keep in your car and take it to the car wash with you and just do a real quick um, cleaning of the wheels. Okay? So speaking of wheels, sometimes, if you stay up here, uh, you've got a lot of uh, dirt on the actual wheel itself or inside the wheel well and you need to get that cleaned off. Uh, you want a uh, little bit of a tougher sponge for that, but uh, you see a lot of these long handled sponges, and those are great if you don't want to bend down, but when you're trying to get up in that wheel well, it's really hard because the uh, handle is so long. So we offer a, just kind of a shorter brush like this. It's a softer bristle, but yet it's really effective in cleaning off your wheels. So usually when we go to a car wash and we're waiting our wheel cleaner to work, we will spray the wheels and the wheel well with our multi-star. We use it out of the concentrate in the uh, pump vaporizer so it's a little bit stronger. And then we just take, let it set for a second, and then we just take this brush and you can really scrub your wheels with it and then way up in the wheel well there to get all of that dirt and residue out of there. And again, when you're done with it, you wanna make sure that you rinse it thoroughly so that you're not bringing that contamination back when um, you use it the second time. Another brush you've seen us talk a lot about here, if I can get this to set here, is our um, leather and upholstery brush. So this one is ergonomic for your hands. And I hear this from a lot of our Facebook posts, a lot of our blog posts. Everybody loves the way this brush feels in your hand. It's a very soft bristle on this. So if you have a stain in your carpet in your car, you can use a uh, carpet and upholstery on it or multi-star we use a lot of times. You can do a nice gentle scrubbing and then kind of blot it off with the microfiber. We also use this on leather seats. Um, you use it with our leather foam, you spray the foam all over, you give it like a nice gentle rub, gentle rub, and then you wipe it off with the microfiber. So this is a pretty universal brush, and it's a nice and small, fits in uh, any of those smaller containers you want to keep in your car all the time. And the last brush we're going to talk about is our pet hair remover brush. So this has rubber bristles on it. And this really gets down into the carpet and picks up all of that hair from your pets. Uh, I have a giant, very hairy golden retriever. And this came in really handy when I had uh, fabric seats and the carpet because he sheds all over the place. So a couple quick wipes with this. I've even used this on my couch at home and uh, it really takes all of the pet hair out. So those are a few of the products I would recommend this weekend when you're ready to clean your car for the holiday weekend. Uh, a couple little quick updates. Uh, the Ed Carpenter Racing Team is have a week off for the holiday, but they will head back out on the road next week to Iowa, I believe. And the Hoonigan Racing Division, uh, they are racing all weekend starting tonight with qualifications and they are in Sweden this week, so be sure and follow them on Facebook. And lastly, before we go, uh, Competition Ready on Velocity starts re-airing the first of the uh, second season. So tonight is uh, episode one of season two, and this is when we go to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway uh, Hall of Fame Museum. This is one of our most popular episodes. You get to see some beautiful cars there. Uh, it's right here at the Speedway, one of our favorite places to hang out. So be sure and catch that tonight on Velocity. Check your local listings for times. So I hope everybody has a very, very safe and uh, fabulous holiday weekend. And we, Jason and I, will see you back here next week. Thanks for joining us.